sort of conceptualise the physical challenge ahead of time, but it's not till you're actually trudging up a hill that the reality of the physical challenge kind of sinks in. The reason for doing this is that it's the Alpine Club's 125th anniversary this year. And it was founded by Harper, Mannering and Ross in 1891. So we've picked out some spots around Araki Mount Cook National Park that are named after Harper, Mannering and Ross and we're visiting them. Hence the Harper Glacier yesterday, Mannering, Mount Mannering today, hopefully the Mannering Glacier tomorrow. Penny had written an article proposing a challenge to the Alpine Club members to climb all of the features or any feature named Harper, Mannering or Ross in celebration of the club's 125th year. So I, I said I investigated some maps and came up with a, an itinerary that would take in five points of interest over eight days and I uh, put together you know, a story, and sent Penny an email and within 15 minutes I got a response. I love it. I guess the day I'm the most concerned about is the, you know, Tasman Saddle to Plateau, because it's sort of 20 k's of glacier followed by a thousand metres uphill. Well, you get right away from your everyday environment into a completely different environment that's that's very challenging to be in, but at the same time is very rewarding to be in. But then the other thing is that you kind of have to. Um, get to know yourself a bit better, you know, because all the pre pretenses and bravado are all stripped away and you're just left with what you can do. Can you put, you know, can you put one foot after another? Can you do it? And that can be quite revealing and quite humbling to, to have to engage with yourself that way. You can keep moving. Transalpine adventure is not a complete transalpine adventure without a day of howling wind and precipitation. After an 11 hour day out, the successful climb of Mount Mannering and then got back here and we knew the storm was forecast and, and it was getting windier and wispy clouds and mares tails appearing as we climbed up to the hut. Gavin freaked me out by suggesting we leave after dinner to go to Tasman Saddle but luckily the wind got strong enough, quick enough that we could um, give up on that idea. And then overnight, just a really bumpy ride, just like being in a boat on a stormy sea, the hut just thumping and bumping, huge wind gusts. It's just a wet, wild, windy day in the Southern Alps. During the day, the gusts were so huge, you know, you couldn't couldn't hear each other talk. So we've just arrived at the Mannering Glacier, just on the edge of it here, uh, on the call to the west, Starvation Saddle. We're going to make our way across to the uh, Murchison Headwall and up to Kelman Hut. Have a bit of a break there before going to Taz Saddle. How are you feeling, Penny? I'm all right. Bit of a grunt to get up here. It's dry because it's not raining, which is good. But I'm getting a little bit cold sitting here. Um, it's good to have got to the head of the Manor and Glacier and tick off another one of our objectives. Um, but it'll also be good to get over the Merchant's Head Wall and over Tasman Saddle. And um, I feel like we've accomplished the next leg of our journey. Feeling well rested, 
today's going to be a long day so that's kind of weighing on my head a little bit. It's nice to be back at Tasman Saddle after 30 years. Um, long way down the glacier, long way up to Plateau Hut. But just a fantastically beautiful morning. So Forest Ross was the wife of Malcolm Ross from Dunedin, who was one of the Alpine Club founders. And we think Forest Ross was probably the first woman member of the New Zealand Alpine Club. And so this is the only feature in Mount Cook National Park that's actually named after Ross, and it's named after his wife, which is kind of good to feature some women in the history of the club. We've just, um, we're right at the toe of the Forest Ross Glacier. We just did a wee pitch of ice climbing on the Forest Ross Glacier. I had a 90 second ice climbing tutorial, then um, up I went on a top rope. It was fun. And um, looking across at the Multi Brun Range and reminiscing about climbing Multi Brun 40 years ago, and also looking up at Graham Saddle and reminiscing about crossing Graham Saddle in a Norway storm sort of like the one we were in yesterday, um, also about 40 years ago. So the morning's been fun, the afternoon's going to be a bit of a grind. Just about to get on the Freshfield Glacier and then heading over towards the upper part of Harstridge and then up onto Glacier Dome and then a nice cool drink followed by a nice hot cup of miso soup followed by a wash followed by a gourmet gav dinner well we've just gained the ridge where we can look over at plateau hut and the grand plateau and cook can't believe that we made it up here long day um nearly there I have a, a particular passion for photography and filming, so I like to incorporate that into my guiding and shoot on the go. Of course, that could be quite challenging, um, trying to take care of safety and trying to get interesting photographs, so sometimes I need to sacrifice it. Unfortunately, it can be sometimes when, when things get tough that the, the filming gets really interesting. You know, I've got the whole camera set up so that I can drop it and I won't lose it on the mountain. Well, we spent the last two days in Plateau Hut. The first day was pretty miserable. Um, windy in the morning and then very rainy, snowy all afternoon and all night. Find up yesterday morning, but we decided to wait out another day for everything to consolidate. We set off sometime after four this morning and headed up the Linda Glacier. We're right now at Taikoman Corner. Sun's just risen, um, stunningly beautiful morning, bit of valley cloud, but fine up here. And then we're heading up Clark Saddle, which is right above us. Looks a bit formidable, a bit of trepidation, but it's way, way better to be out doing it than think, than anticipating it. You know, a lot of focus, a lot of concentration. I'll be glad when we're on the top of Clark Saddle. Here. Yep, here we are on Hart the Saddle. We've tagged our fifth spot. Long day coming over from Plateau via Clark Saddle and then a bit of trickiness and the glaciers, some abseils, um, but now here we are on Hart the Saddle. Clag coming and going, um, but we're here and we've done it. And NZAC 125 years.
to get a tidal wave off it. Tsunami! Uh-oh. I think we should get out of here.